Welcome back. <laughs> I didn't even know. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's me again. My name is Lawrence, and I'm back again with another video. Welcome to the Slice of Otaku channel, and I'm glad this is episode, essentially episode number two. Some housekeeping items here. First and foremost, uh, the last video that I made, uh, you probably noticed that I was looking up all the time. And the reason for that was I have another camera essentially facing downwards uh, on top of me. And what my goal was to have a video where I can do the unboxing and you can do kind of like a hands-on thing. Uh, that didn't turn out too well, unfortunately. The video itself, was pretty much unusable after I extracted it. So I apologize for for that. You know, I'll try my best to not be, not to look uh, distracted uh, on my videos too much. So again, apologize. Uh, okay, so now that being said, let's move on to the main event. And that is going to be, we're going to be unboxing another item today. The TLDR here, uh, I've had, I've had a figure that I've want uh, that I wanted to start off this channel with, and and for the longest time I've I've you know I backpedaled, I thought about it, I thought I said you know what, I'll unbox this this figure on camera, and this is the first thing I'm gonna box, but that didn't turn out the way I wanted to be, so I unboxed Nino instead, which was perfectly fine because not the fact that Nino is awesome altogether, uh, but anyways. That's the sort of a back history for that. And that being said, I'm gonna tell you what, and this is what I'm gonna be unboxing today. Prepare in three, two, one. Okay. I don't know why I did that. Okay, I don't know why I did that. Hey, we're going to be unboxing. Ta da! This is a uh, uh, Raftaria figure uh, from um, Shield Hero. So, uh, this was the figure that I wanted to unbox as the kickoff for this channel, but what wasn't able to do it. I'm sorry. I'd say this is probably one of the more expensive figures that I've purchased. It was manufactured by a company called uh, uh, Kotobokia, and Kotobokia has been well known in the uh, uh, anime figure industry. They've actually done uh, things like uh, Superman, Wonder Woman as well, so for, you know, like comics and stuff like that. Uh, I would say they're very detail-oriented, so, and we'll explore how that actually translates to this particular figure. Uh, this is actually from the, the sculptor uh, Koeyo Matsumoto, uh, and uh, he's, he's, uh, he's done a lot of, like, really good figures. Uh, you can check them out. I think I'll, I'll put a list of some of the, the great stuff that he's done uh, on the description down below. Um, but yeah, this actually came out uh, early last year. And unfortunately, uh, I, I wasn't one of those lucky people that was able to pre-order it by the time that I went to the site to pre-order it. Unfortunately, it was already sold out. Uh, so I got this uh, from eBay. Uh, a couple months later and it just arrived early this year. The price for this thing is around 170 US dollars and got this for around 200 dollars uh, 220, 230, something like that. Um, so yeah, I would say it's not bad but because if you look at eBay right now as we speak uh, it's like hovering around 600, 700 dollars. So I, at the end of the day I was still in the realm of that was an okay amount to spend on a figure. So if you haven't seen Shield Hero already, um, I would highly recommend it. I would, I, I, I wouldn't, I would not give it like a 10 out of 10 overall as an anime, but it's a really good anime. So um, it won't make sense to you if you haven't seen the series, but I would urge you to watch it. Season two is coming later on this year, I think coming out in October. Looking forward to that. So I thought that this was a, a good opportunity to unbox our good friend, uh, Raftaria. Um, okay, let's get into it. Mix a knife. The box is actually well done. So if you look at the box, I don't know if you can see that, but the box is actually not bad. It's actually very detailed. 
Uh, it has this cool, so that you can peek inside. You can already, you can actually peek inside from the front already. Uh, but they made this like, kind of shield uh, incision on the corner here, which is great. Kind of give it a little bit more, points to more of a shield hero kind of vibe there. Okay, here itself, uh, looking at it, yeah, it, it is a couple of pieces, so it's, it's, there's still some assembly required. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, there is tape. It's gotta be tape. The heck? What is this? Okay, there's a bunch of tapes in here, so. Yeah, watch me struggle for a good, a good 15, 20 minutes. Uh, all right. Okay, I found a tape, so. Make sure you're just careful. Oh, my biggest fear in boxing these things is that Oh my god, I'm like I'm on the opposite side of the knife, so I was cutting myself. <laughs> ah! Alright. Okay. I think that was it. So I think I was as successful there. Alright. We got it out. Woo! Alright. I'm not gonna speed run this because it just doesn't make sense to speed run this. Okay. So I'm gonna. Okay, so I think that the bottom here. Installer guy. Oh, God. So we got an installer guy, which is useful. Hopefully. So inside the box, there's a couple things here. So you got the good old installer guide, I'm guessing. I, you don't really see this very often. Uh, obviously, for a more expensive figure, you tend to see that because it is more expensive and uh, they want it to, they want to give you that premium feel. So, uh, just on the instructions, just says Raftaria on there and tells you what's on the compartment there. So, and of course, it's taped up. What's the heck? Come on. Okay, there we go. Taped up again, and okay, that makes sense. So, anyways, there's three things in here. Uh, there's a one of her swords, and yep, tape city. You like get that out? Okay. What do you? I was careful as possible there. I didn't ruin it or anything. All right. So now we're on to the seat. There's like a compartment within a compartment. Okay, now we got the actual Raftalia figure. Raftalia's tail. This is Raftalia's one of her swords. Probably gonna equip most likely this one because I like this one a lot, but I just, I can't, it's just like weird sword in general. Uh, so this is probably what I'm gonna be using. Same as the, 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 the model in the box. Okay, so let's actually unpack this thing uh, from the packaging. So, right up. okay, okay. So I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to do this justice. But can you see that? Oh, that's pretty. Holy, like that's why. That's why. That's why you're expensive. That's why you're like. That's why you're Kotobukiya. That's why. All right, successfully unboxed. Okay, so that, oh, okay. So the good thing is, yeah, so she, there is still, she's still like attached to a stand. So that's good. So behold Raftaria. Can you guys see that? Hopefully, so this is what this figure looks like. First impressions on this thing is that, holy crap, she is pretty. This, this is a pretty, pretty figure. I would say um, in terms of in terms of closeness to her character uh, in the anime, this is really, really close. This is really close. Um, obviously, you can't make an anime character, you can't make it like 100%. If she is transformed into a 3D character, she'll most likely look like this. Detail on the, on the land, the, on the base is actually really good. The balloon is actually 
quite detailed. This is like this is a combination of different types of um, it's a combination of different types of uh, um, material. Which, sorry, I might have to look under your skirt, of Daria. Okay, okay. All right, so we got the tail out, and now my Nemo. But I like this one better, so my Nemo. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay. Wow. The detail of this sword. It's really good. I would say this sculptor knows what he's doing. I'm gonna have to cut this stuff in the video. Is it like? Because this doesn't go here. This doesn't make sense for that to. Go. So, how do you frick you get it in there? I Five hours later. Am I am I a dumbass? I think I'm a total dumbass. Because this doesn't go here. This thing come off. So, that's why. Ow! Whoa! That's actually sharp! Holy c***. But uh, anyways, that's how you get it in there. Okay. All good to go! Alright, so this is uh, the Raftaria figure uh, from Kotobokia. Uh, so check it out. So this is what it looks like. Um, very, very finely detailed, I'd say. Um, so if I'm gonna give this a rating, you're probably wondering if I'm gonna give this a rating I don't have a rating system. I can give it like rate one. I'm gonna give this five slices of otaku, okay? Five slices uh, The detail is very very is there. I really love this figure um, I, Unfortunately, it can't you, there's no there. They're probably gonna reproduce this figure later on I actually cut myself by her sword so <laughs> that just happened uh, Yeah, so anyways this is Raftaria. If you like this video, please subscribe down below. For those people that watched the last video, once again, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll be doing, obviously, more unboxings in the near future. Again, I gotta treat myself. I'm actually bleeding. Anyways, if that's the case, thank you. I will talk to you then. Later. See ya.